What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a video that is slightly delayed compared to when I actually wanted to upload it. You may have seen from Instagram that I had an absolutely epic fail yesterday. And what I thought I was gonna start on here, I have actually got no card. First of all, I left my memory card in my laptop, which was supposed to be in my Ulfi, so I couldn't really film an intro. I tried to film three intros in London after getting stuck in traffic. We have made it to London. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London, and you join me and Zach in central London. Right, we are losing light quicker than, I don't really know. And rather than bore you, uh, basically, I didn't film a video. However, today, I have been very, very productive and um, got lunch. I went to McDonald's. I didn't do a McDonald's roulette because I actually wanted something quite specific. However, today I am headed into central London and fingers crossed it doesn't rain. It is grey, but apparently it is not scheduled to rain. And I'm driving into central London to try and answer the question, has summer finished? in London and I know that there are some Instagram pictures to say otherwise with the cars that are driving around but how often are they driving around and how often are they parked up in their hotels have the owners left today I'm gonna to try and answer that question and try and see as many supercars as I can and hypercars as I can in this sort of flying visit into London. I'm hoping to spend about two hours before I do lose light. However, I have bought my Canon G7X, which is a little bit better at night filming. And fingers crossed, we can make a cool video today. Where is he? <laughs> I can imagine he's gonna come here. <laughs> so the video is is summer ending. <laughs> Aleem, first of all, welcome back. How are we doing? <laughs> you are taking the roof off your Aventador SV. We were we were having a little bit of a throwback. Uh, on, on Twitter earlier when I was showing Paul when he actually showed me his car when he bought it the R8 the silver one the V8 when he bought it he came down to see me at the uh, at the showroom so I sent him a picture I heard that he was in in town to come and vlog and stuff so I thought it'd be awesome to show him the new car as well Okay, here we go. The hunt is on. The hunt for a Bugatti Chiron. Um, we've seen a few cars. It has been a little bit quieter than, let's say, something like July, when the weather was a little bit better. Um, but it hasn't rained. Aleem had his roof off the whole time. Uh, so, we need to go and find some cars now. Well, this has just popped out of nowhere. Wow. <laughs> Getting those shots. Woo. We were just talking about the Aventador Roadster that's over there. And a bloody 918 appears. I haven't seen that one yet. You hadn't seen that one either. With the liquid blue paint. Liquid, liquid, what? liquid metal. Oh, you said liquid blue. Liquid, I, yeah, I, I did say liquid <laughs> blue. <laughs> As we were walking to Harrods, Sloan Street behind us, a white 12C. I think it's the one that was here last year with the DMC parts with the big wing. Just drove past, I didn't even realise that was in London. So that's the car that we need to see today. Definitely saw a white Veyron yesterday. Definitely saw a red LaFerrari yesterday. Um, but didn't catch any of it on camera because it was too dark. It's quiet around Harrods, but there is a Saudi... Oh, yeah, it's nice. There's a Saudi R8 V10 and also a green GT3 RS here, which is very nice. I saw this yesterday. I'm going to put the clip in now. We've just spotted a lime green. GT3 RS that I'm pretty sure it was on Italian plates. Where is it? There it is. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's try and get 
same picture whilst the lights are still on actually. Oh, the lights are gone. We've got a Ventimore crew. They to try and where's the best place to take a picture? Maybe from the front. Parking ticket. As I was saying, we have come to this location because yesterday, this is where the McLaren P1, LaFerrari and Bugatti Chiron was. We've just searched on Instagram, hashtag live upload, and nothing is coming up. Nothing. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> got like chromey style wheels, all oh, 458 coming up as well. Oh, that's tough. I haven't heard I haven't I haven't heard of 458 in so long. That was like the first time that I'd heard it in like I reckon a good six months, I'd say. They do still sound really, really good though. I yeah, like them. Yeah, but the Nobby Tech pipes all the way. So this is what happens at 20 past seven. Now it gets very, very dark, and I don't know why, but I, I don't know, I need to look at the settings on this camera a bit. It makes me like all look really blurry. I don't know how far away I have to hold myself, or just have a load of light. So we're now heading back to our cars which are parked pretty much next to each other and I'm going to grab my other camera and fingers crossed for the next sort of 45 minutes or so I'll film on that if we see anything cool coming, driving or whatever but I'm starting to lose faith in the uh, Bugatti Chiron Is there anything on live upload or not? Nothing yet Nothing My favourite spec Lamborghini Aventador Roadster is here on Stone Street this is the first time that I've seen it and it is stunning it is purple it's like Incredible with the yellow interior, the yellow brake calipers. This is my favorite Lamborghini. Oh, I could film this all day, but we're gonna jump in uh, Alex's S1 and go for a hunt up in Mayfair to see what cars we can see. So cool. Spotted a Bugatti. This is what I saw yesterday, but didn't film it. It's not the Chiron, but it's his older brother. Earlier there was a P1 at this hotel here. Oh. That sounds quite cool. It's quite high pitched. Quite high pitched. Uh, GT3 RS, Aventador, ah, the P1 is there. White crew at the 45 Park Lane. We were just talking about this car because it disappeared, but nope, it just parked two minutes away from us. And then we've got an Aventador SV as well. Yes, that number eight's sick. Ah, oh, and the Bentayga. Mansory Bentayga. Very nice. I thought London was dead, but there's definitely, definitely supercars. What are you pointing at? Oh, it's the gold 458. Ah, where is it? Ah, here. There we go. Gold 458 Spider and the Diamond CLS. Well, I think it's safe to say that London is still booming, even though it's mid September. Good plate. Is he saying. Piss off Wallace? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Damn it. What was that? I think a Ferrari just went past, either a Ferrari or a Lotus Evora. But either way, as you may have already been able to tell, I'm driving back home after an unsuccessful hunt of finding the Bugatti Chiron. I do need to get home, edit this video as quickly as possible. I think I'm going to put 
the Lamborghini Aventador SV Drive with a Lean in a separate video. You may have seen the pictures on Instagram, I think. I've had a brainwave and I'm going to put them in separate videos. So this video, working out whether there are still supercars, even though the weather has changed slightly, it's the middle of September, I can answer that yes, there are still some awesome supercars driving around. And then a video coming soon is going to be my passenger ride in Lord Aleem's Aventador SV Roadster and then him allowing me to drive his car, which is pretty insane. So that video is coming soon. I'm now going to sign off, so please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already because I do want to be in London as much as humanly possible um, as well as doing other cool bits, driving cool cars. Coming up, I'm going to be driving the brand new McLaren 570GT and the 540C. I've never heard anyone that has driven the 540C, but hopefully I can get behind the wheel of that car soon and try and work out whether it is worth the extra money to buy the 570S or even the 570GT. So that video is coming soon. Some really cool stuff happening very soon. So guys, thank you so much for supporting and watching, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon on Supercars of London. Cheers, guys.